Hey, so we decided we're going to cook a duck. Um, we've never done that before, uh, but my understanding is that duck is best when you cook it medium rare. And while we may not be the perfect cooks in the world, we do have a sous vide machine. Ta-da! And what that does is it keeps a water bath at a perfect temperature so that you can make something perfectly medium rare if you cook it long enough. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to spatchcock the duck and uh, put it in a sous vide bath for a good 12 hours or so and uh, crisp up the outside with a blowtorch, I think. He's looking forward to that part. <laughs> Any salt or anything needed? Um, no, I, I think I think we can just do it in the herbs and stuff. I mean, okay. do you think we need salt? That can be added later if need be. Yeah, I figure you can salt okay. the exterior afterwards because it's not really marinating. It's not brining in anything. So. Duck is so different than chicken. Okay, so maybe spatchcocking it is going to be weird. Oh, I... yes. <laughs> I'm wondering if we need to. Well, the one recipe I could find said spatchcock, but you think you think we could do it? You know, let's let's do it without the spatchcocking then. Let's, let's just do put it without it in the, the spatchcock okay. because okay. I'm thinking we would be tearing this bird apart because it has a lot more backbone than the uh, chicken does. Okay, well then. Body bag it. Yep, yeah, body bag it. Herb it. Um, yeah, I got some. Herbs from the garden. I've got uh, rosemary, sage, and thyme. I'm time after to, I'm time. I'm trying to roll the, 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 the herbs to the bottom. Since, since there'll be more in the contact with the... I don't think it matters. Okay. Um, yeah, and then some pomegranate juice. I want to pour I that in. I got duck hands. <laughs> okay. Um, I figure. I figure. Uh, any any good flavorful juice ought to do it. Ooh, sorry. I suck at pouring with one hand. A little more. It's like a slaughterhouse. Well, at one point it was. <laughs> Start the sous vide now. Uh, yeah, let's do the sous vide now, and then that way we'll compensate for for any. Because the recipe was like was like ah oh, you know you can just like spatchcock it and cook it for like ten to twelve hours. And just do hot tap water. Secure with the bulldog clamp acquired long ago from a job. And you notice how we got the air out of the bag as you just put the the the, the bag in the water and. Uh, Physics does the rest. The max line is right there. Okay, how long did it cook? 20 ish hours, I want to say. Wow. That was probably well, longer well, than we intended, see. but let's you know. See. Hold it. It's, uh, what time is it now? Figure it finished probably around six, and we put it in what ten midnight last night. So yeah, I mean that was mostly a convenience of not wanting to get up or in the wee yeah. hours in the morning. Fifteen, eighteen and still hours. And wanting to have dinner. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do, like, is we're gonna we're gonna drain the now grayish looking liquid, which is actually full of duck fat and pomegranate juice, um, and we're gonna put that in the. Uh, Saucepan with some cornstarch and some salt and pepper. I'll drain so it into this. Just, yeah, okay. I'll drain it into this. Recenter that on on my thing there, would you? I keep keep going if you can. I think that's most of it. No, there's like a big corner right here. Which is like all duck fat. So that's, I mean, look at that. Look at the, the, the level of duck fat in there. So I'm, I'm hoping we can capture that. Even after we make the gravy, that, that duck fat is just going to be flavor. 
How's that? Want me to skim off the fat? Um, I, I just leave it leave it settling there, and it'll gather more, and I'll skim off the fat later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna drain it again later? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can find. Oh, there's the the rest of the uh, spent herbs. Ooh, should we do this without the lights? Oh. <laughs> So I have since learned that some people cut diamond slits into the skin on the back in order to render the fat out a little bit better. Um, if there's any other tip that you have, uh, please let us know. Leave a comment. I'm open to learn. And uh, maybe we'll make this again someday. Okay. There we go. A little rough around the edges. We got a little thing going on here. Flipping air. But I think we got some crispy skin. And I think it's going to be delicious. I'm going to make some sauce out of the uh, uh, drippings and see how that goes. I don't know. I, I saved a fair amount of uh, a duck fat out of that, and I want some for the sauce. Okay. Um, can you turn this on, by the way? Oh, that's how it turns on. There you go. Okay. That's a very sweet. So I'm just going to add salt and pepper to this. Because um, I figure it's already seasoned. It's already got duck fat in it. It's already got pomegranate in it. And so it's just going to be like a real simple sauce with like cornstarch and uh, juice here. No, thanks. <clears throat> I'll have it on the deck. And yes, I'm reusing the spoon because I'm cooking it for my family and not for anybody else. <laughs> ah, dang it. Well, that's going to be a good thick sauce. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, most of it with that swipe. Okay. I mean, pretty easy gravy. I'm turning it higher this way, or that, that that's as high as it will go. Okay.
Okay, well, while I finish the sauce off, which I'm sure you know what making cornstarch gravy looks like, um, then we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go over and microwave some green beans. Okay, yeah, that is like that. super, super thick. There's actually not very much meat on the breast, there's more on the back. Still looks really good. I think maybe you're gonna have to. You want me to do it? Sure. <laughs> okay. There's like so little meat there. Come there there really is so little meat there, but I was thinking maybe if we like separate it out. Um, okay. If I were a chicken, I would take off my drumsticks. I'm just gonna butcher this, like, not in the, uh, not in the, the traditional, not in the good sense. <laughs> Here, cut that in half so we can try it. Okay. Or just a little bite out of it or whatever. God, look at that layer of fat. I know. Okay. Turn the microphone and turn it around to you if you're gonna try it. That is good. Okay. Next time, a little bit of salt in the uh, cooking, mm. just so it's a little bit more. I put the salt in yeah. the sauce and the the uh, polenta, which we're not serving on the plate right now, so I just need to do that part. Okay. I know it's ugly. We're gonna put some of that on a plate. But that pomegranate flavor really comes through. And the meat is like tender and juicy. Um, so when you sous vide uh, for for poultry like duck, anything above 130 um, for for multiple hours is going to pasteurize it, meaning meaning that this is safe to eat even though this is a lower temperature than you might traditionally be cooking it on. After we 18 have killed hours, all of the, yeah. so. Yeah, we have killed all of the pathogens that could possibly be in it. Okay, so I'm going to make that. Uh, we've got some green beans that we microwave. You know, the traditional way. Because we're classy like that. Okay, I'm not sure how to open this microwave. This does not look like the jar, or like the, the, the box says on it. I want you to say, see, box, that. They're green and they're beans. This is polenta. Um, I made it with some caramelized onions and garlic. Um, and, uh, and then this is the sauce that I made, um, a little extra thicker than I intended. So, there we go. <laughs> bon appetit. Try with the sauce, though. Try with the sauce. I want to see, I want to see what you think of the sauce here. Perfect. And try the polenta, too. In the gravy? In the gravy, yeah. They're meant to go together. That's good too. Okay, so there you go. And those are green beans. Even though you should. Okay. But yeah, we got we got a nice little gray gloop, which is what happens. Oh God! I thought it was feathers for a moment. <laughs> no, this time. <laughs>